Shalom, shalom, shalom. All right. Another Saturday morning. Getting it, man. All right. Let me straighten this out just a little bit more. Hold on. Get this adjust so y'all can see me. All right. A little bit. I think that should do it. Right there, probably. Let's see. Yep. How'd it do? That's good enough for me, man. All right. Shout on, shout on, shout on. All right, we're going to face these, and we're going to give all praises and honor and glory that's due to Yahweh. Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakaq Madash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles, the great millstone who well. Shout on to 144,000, one third remnant, men, women, and children of the whole world. Shout on. All right. Brother Gabar Yash, coming back at you another morning lesson, man. Saturday morning street teaching. All right. Saturday morning, another one. All right. <laughs> Doing it and getting it again. All right, the water to you, brother. All right. But hey, man, we're out here. Hey, hey. But the time is coming where we ain't going to be out here for long, man. Because, hey, the family of the word is drawing near. These devils are taking down any information, man, that can, you know. And then, you know, I saw Brother Chappelle the 12, he posted a, um, an article. Well, <laughs> now you got people blaming it, un, the unjuiced, all right? The ones that didn't take the juice box, all right? You know what we mean by that, all right? We can't say the word because, you know, you know YouTube gets down. But nevertheless, man, all right? And hey, <laughs> what you blaming us for? Hey, the people warned you, all right? Saying that the people didn't warn you enough. Man, please, we, look, people had they, accounts taken down, video, countless videos taken down. Warning you not to take the, uh, you know, the juice squeeze, whatever you want to call it, man. All right? And like I say, we can't say that B word because you know how YouTube is, man, the algorithms. And plus, you know, everybody get ready to take down all these videos, man. Hey, hey, you Israelites and the rest of you people, y'all gonna be the same way. When shit hits the fan and when the men of the Lord are no longer out here, standing on the highway and by the way preaching this gospel, yeah, y'all gonna be the same way, man. Y'all gonna be the same way, okay? Y'all gonna be like, what? Why they didn't warn us, man? Why did? Where them brothers at, man? Why them brothers didn't warn? Look, man, Israelites were out here warning you day in and day out, man. Brothers on the highways and byways. Gonna be brothers on the highways and byways today, man, and tomorrow. Prophesy, and the week, okay? We out here, man. Hey. Okay? Man, Lord, we're out here, man. Alright? So, you just nice, man. Y'all ain't got no excuse. Alright? No excuse at all. None. Zero. Nada. No excuses, man. For why you didn't get this word. Okay? No excuses. Point blank period, man. We're gonna be out here until the Lord how about you all know, says no more. I'm trying to make sure everything is, you know, so I got a standing room. So, alright? Let's, let's get into it, man. Anyway, let's get into it. Because the time is coming, man. Well, the Lord, how about me outside? It's about to shut the mouths of the prophets. The time will come. Hey, the time of warning you Israelites is coming to an end, man. Y'all ain't going to have no excuse for the reason why y'all didn't get this truth and why y'all didn't pay. Y'all didn't take heed. You better take heed now. Okay, before it's too late, because time is running out, man, and we're going we gonna to keep repeating this, man, okay? Yeah, it might sound repetitive, but we're going to keep repeating it, man, okay? Because we have to warn you, Israelites, man, let's read Ezekiel chapter 3 and verse 17. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me, okay? This is why the men of the Lord are out here. Week in and week out, man, okay? Every week, weekend, prophesying, okay? Prophesying the downfall of Babylon and the great America, man. And we're going to be out here until the Lord Yahweh Shai says no more, okay? So, hey, that time is drawing near, okay? Ezekiel 3 and verse 17 again. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. Verse 18, when I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die, and thou givest them not warning, nor speakest to warn the wicked, 
from his wicked way to save his life. The same wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood will out require at thy hand. So, hey, the ones that are not warning you, they got blood on their hands, man. Okay? They got blood on their hands, and hey, they gonna suffer a great death, man. Okay? And you know the groups that ain't warning the sheep? They tell you after a thousand years, these little evil gonna come back in the power and all this madness, man. They ain't got these ease coming on the elders and the prophets coming, man. Scoffing and mocking and running their mouths, man. They ain't got these weak, <laughs> these weak ass beta male sins, excuse my language, all right? Running their mouths too. Hey, time running your mouth has come to an end, man. Okay? So you can't say you wasn't warned when you don't see the men out here on the highways and byways no more. When you don't see us out here, y'all gonna panic, man. Y'all gonna be like, oh my God. Man, them, them men, was, they, they were the true men of the Lord, man. Yeah, that's what y'all gonna be like, man. <laughs> Verse 19. Yet if thou warn the wicked, and he turn not from his wickedness, nor from his wicked way, he shall die in his iniquity, but thou hast delivered thy soul, man. So, hey, we done our job at the end of the day, man. Okay? We done our job. And, hey, our job is just about done. We're going to keep prophesying until, hey, do whatever Esau does, man. He shut down the internet or whatever. So, we're going to continue to do what we got to do, man. We're going to keep continuing to serve you. How about you? Meow Shai. Okay? Ezekiel chapter 2. Let's go to Ezekiel chapter 2. And let's see. Mm, I'll start at verse 1. Ezekiel chapter 2 and verse 1. And he said unto me, Son of man, stand upon thy feet. What do you think the man of the Lord are doing, man? The man of the Lord are standing up on their feet. Ten toes down, man. Prophesying. Going out to the highways and byways, man. Doing this work. Week in and week out, man. Okay? Ezekiel 2 and verse 1. And he said unto me, Son of man, stand upon thy feet, and I will speak unto thee. Verse 2. And the Spirit entered into me when he spake unto me, and set me up on my feet, that I heard him that spake unto me. And the Lord, how about she? I'm trying to speak to his two prophets, man. Okay? Like he tells you in Amos chapter 3 and verse 7. Surely the Lord will do nothing but he reveal his secrets unto his servants, the prophets. We are his true prophets, man. And y'all gonna be soon looking for those prophets, man. But you ain't gonna find them. Okay? Verse 3. And he said unto me, Son of man, I send thee to the children of Israel. To a rebellious nation that had rebelled against me. They and their fathers have transgressed against me even until this very day. Two thirds, man. We get two thirds Israelites, man. From the tribes, right? So called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. Rebelling against the Lord Habashi Yahshua by not taking heed to this word. Scoffing and mocking at his prophets, his men that he set up, man. Alright? The men that he set up to, hey, to warn you, okay? Verse 4, for they are an imprudent children and stiff heart. My people are stiff heart and hard headed, man. I do send thee unto them, and thou shalt say unto them, Thus saith the Lord, how about she out shy power? Verse 5, and they, whether they will hear or whether they will forbear, for they are a rebellious house, they not yet shall know that there have been a prophet among them. You don't know that there was a true prophet among them, man. When she hits the fan. Everything that the men of the Lord say come to pass, the uh, forced implementation of the MOTV, which is the C hip man, the radio frequency identification device C hip, okay? Everything that the men of the Lord have been saying. When the game, when these prophecies come to pass, you're gonna know that there was a true prophet among you. I'll shoot over Ezekiel. Let's go to Ezekiel 33. I'm gonna start at verse 1, okay? Ezekiel 33 and verse 1. But when these things begin to happen, you Israelites ain't going to have no excuses. You can't point the finger and say, Nobody didn't warn me, man. <laughs> what do you mean? They didn't mean they told me that this man was the devil. Man, we out here every weekend warning you about Esau, even the so-called white man. Telling you that you cannot trust this damn devil, man. Okay? Telling you you can't trust this devil. So, nah. Alright? 
be warning you week in, week out, man. Well, are y'all taking heed? No. I really only the elect is gonna take heed, man. Okay? Only the elect is gonna take heed to this word, okay? Alright, we're still going. Just making sure we're still going, man. Alright, let's keep going. Let's get it. Ezekiel chapter 3 and verse excuse me, Ezekiel chapter 33 and verse 1. Again, the words of the Lord Yahweh Shiyoshai came out to me saying, Verse 2, Son of Man, speak to the children of thy people. That's you Israelites, man. Okay? And say unto them, When I bring the sword upon the land, if the people of the land take a man of their coast and set him for their watchman. We're the watchmen, man. We are the watchmen of the Lord Yahweh Shiyoshai to blow that trumpet, to sound the alarm, man. Okay? to warn you is nice but like i say man the time of warning you is about to come to an end okay the time of warning you is about to come to an end we don't have long because come december 1st okay in case y'all don't know they gonna start taking down gmail accounts that you know they haven't been used in last two years or so so a lot of brothers channels about to get about to be gone man just like that Right. A lot of brothers' channels about to be gone, just like that. Okay? So the famine of the word is near. Alright? So you need to be to take heed. And plus, they talking about uh, internet outages, man. Where they're going to be internet outages for months or weeks. So take heed, man. Take heed to this word. Time is running out. Okay? Man, the Lord ain't gonna be out here always, okay? We ain't gonna be out here forever. You as a nice really think y'all got forever, <laughs> that's the problem. Y'all think y'all got forever, you think you got time, man. You as a nice ain't got time, man. Time is running out, okay? And hey, you gonna take each of the word, and hey, ain't nothing you can do about it, okay? Verse two. Let's read verse 2 again. Ezekiel 33, verse 2. Son of man, speak thou to the children of thy people and say unto them, When I bring the sword upon the land, and if the people of the land take a man of their coast and set him for their watchman. They're supposed to show you that the man of the Lord or the watchman, man. Only the man is supposed to be out here teaching and preaching, okay? Verse 3. If when he sees the sword come upon the land, he blow the trumpet and warn the people. That's what we're doing. When we see danger, what we do? We push the button, we make a video, and let you know what's coming. But those days are about to come to an end. Okay? Alright? You ain't gonna find these messages. You ain't gonna find these videos this morning, man. Okay? Verse 4. Then whosoever hears the sound of the trumpet and take not warning, if the sword come and take him away, his blood shall be upon his own head. Yeah. You heard this word, you heard the truth, you heard the warnings, you didn't take heed, your blood's gonna be upon your own head, man. Okay? Just like we read in Ezekiel chapter 3 and verse 17 and 18. Okay? So hey, if we and hey, the men of the Lord are here warning, so the blood is off our hands. Okay, whether you take heed or not, don't matter. Because at the end of the day, the Lord, the words of the Lord, you how about Shin Yahshua is going to stand, man. Okay, and his words are not returning to him, Lord, man. Okay, verse 5. He heard the sound of the trumpet. You Israelites, you heard this word, you heard this truth, you heard this gospel. But you said, Well, I got time, man. I, I repent this year. Out the next man, or them brother, them guys don't know what they talking about, man, and all this. Okay. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. Ezekiel 33 and verse 5. He heard the sound of the trumpet and took not warning. His blood shall be upon him. But he that taketh warning shall deliver his soul. And only the elect is going to take heed to the warnings that we give, man. Okay, and this truth is only for the elect anyway. Two thirds, they already destinated for death anyway. So, ain't nothing we can do about that. Ain't nothing I can do about it. Ain't nothing brothers can do about it. Nothing nobody can do about it. Okay? You were two thirds, you were two thirds. You was a two third in your past life, you came back as a two third. If you was a 
come on as the elect, you come back as the elect. Nothing changes, man. Except you come back in a new body and you can live out the same life you lived before. Point blank period. Okay? So hey, our job is just about done, man. Okay? Our time of warning you is nice and our time of warning you is just about done. Okay? Let's read on. Verse 6. But if the watchman see the sword come and blow not the trumpet, not warn the Israelites, not warn the people, all right, leading the sheep astray, all right, prophesying deceit, telling our people that, you know, there ain't no MOTB, there ain't no uh, micro CHIP, okay? There ain't no micro CHIP, you know the group that say that, all right, mocking the men of the Lord, calling us bombs and shit like that. Telling us, hey, no, there ain't no microchip, man. That's June. It's June, okay? There is a microchip, and it ain't June, okay? June is long gone. <laughs> All right? There ain't no Jacob's trouble. No Jacob's trouble gonna happen. We gonna be all good when all hell breaking loose. All kinds of madness, man. Through. Ezekiel 33 and verse 6. But if the watchman see the sword come, and blow not the trumpet, and the people be not warned, if the sword come and take any person from among them, he is taken away in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at the watchman's hand. Yeah, got blood on your hands, man. Hey, the men of the true men of the Lord will warn you not to take the uh the juicy jeeps, okay? Alright? We will warn you not to take the taco sauce, man. The serpent's piss, whatever you want to call it, man. All right, we warned you. Did you listen to us? No, you didn't. Y'all got scared, you panic, and, and I ain't talking about the, you know, the hopeful net, all right? I'm talking about the two-third Israelites that went along with the program. Hey, we warned you. you did you take heed? No, you didn't. Y'all got scared, you panicked. Scared to lose your job, your livelihood. How many people lost their jobs and stuff like that, man? For just, you know, just for just not cooperating with this wicked system, man. For not going along with the program. A lot of people did. And, and look at what's going on now. Now you got women that are looking for sperm donors who did not take the juicy juice. Alright? So hey. Can't say you were born, man. Verse 7. So thou, O son of man, I have set thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore thou shalt hear the word at my mouth and warn them from me. That's what the man of Lord is doing. But like I say, time is running out. Okay? What else? Uh, let's read verse 9. <clears throat> Nevertheless, if thou warn the wicked of his wicked way, like of his way to turn from it, if he do not turn from his way, he shall die in his iniquity, but thou hast delivered thy soul, man. So, two-thirds of you are destined for death, man. And ain't nothing we can do about it. Keep going. Yeah, let's, uh, let's see. Mmm. I'll start verse 30. Alright. Yeah, okay. Good, good. Alright. Ezekiel 33 and verse 30. Also, thou son of man, the children of thy people still are talking against thee by the walls and by the doors of the houses and speak one to another, every one to his brother, saying, Come, I pray you, and hear what the word of like, and hear what the word that cometh forth. From the Lord, how about you, Shai? You still got Israelites that are scoffing and mocking at the men of the Lord, man. Okay? Like I said, them scoffing and mocking days are coming to an end. Okay? Verse 31. And they come unto thee as the people cometh, and they sit before thee as my people, and they hear thy words, but they do them not. It's like, but they do not do them. For, for with their mouths they show much love, but their heart goeth forth after their covetousness. Yeah. After their own lust, man. After their own understanding. 
trying to lean upon their own understanding. The Bible tells you, man, trust in the morning. How about you, I'll shine. Lean not into thy own understanding. Okay? Verse 32. Okay. Mm -hmm. Anyway, stop here. Verse 32. And lo, thou art unto them as a very lovely song of one that have a pleasant voice and can play well on an instrument. They think this truth is entertainment, man. This truth is not for your entertainment, man. Okay? It's not. Alright? It's not for entertainment, man. This is for the war you Israelites, man. So you can be edified and, hey, be prepared for what's coming. Okay? <clears throat> well, they hear thy words, but they do them not. Verse 33. And with this coming to pass, lo, it will come. Then shall they know that a prophet had been among them. You don't know that there was a true prophet among you. You're going to stay in Ezekiel. Go to chapter 12 and verse... Verse 21. Alright. Look at Ezekiel chapter 12 and verse 21. And the word of the Lord, how about Shiyah Shai, came unto me, saying, Son of man, what is that proverb that ye, that ye have in the land of Israel, saying, The days of Provon, even fifty fell? Alright? That's what our people say, man. Oh, y'all been saying this since 2001, man. Y'all been prophesying like this since 2001 and this and that. Y'all been saying this is gonna come and ain't gonna get, okay? Like it says in half the two and three, though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come and will not tarry. Okay? Verse 22. Tell them, therefore, thus saith the Lord, how about Shinyal Shaiqal? I will make this proverb to cease, and they shall no more use it as a proverb in Israel, but say unto them, the days are at hand, and the effects of every vision. Yeah, the days are at hand, man. The day of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai is at hand, man. The day of the Lord is near and hasting greatly. Okay? Verse 24. For there shall no more be. Like, let me read that again. Ezekiel 12, verse 24. For there shall be no more any vain vision nor flattering divination within the house of Israel. You listen, nice, man. Verse 25, for I am the morning how about you shine. I will speak and the word that I shall speak shall come to pass. And that's what's happening, man. And let's get a quick scripture right quick. So I won't forget it. Isaiah 55 and verse 11. Straight to the point. Okay. Isaiah 55 and verse 11. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void. So the words of the Lord, how about she on shine? Not returning to him void, man. Okay? Alright? The words of the Lord, how about she on shine? Being fulfilled. Whether you believe it or whether you don't, it don't matter. Alright? Alright? Let's continue. <clears throat> Isaiah 55 verse 11, so shall my word be, if, be that goeth forth out of my mouth, it shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I send it. Okay, so the words of the Lord, how about she on shine being fulfilled as we speak. Ezekiel uh, chapter 12 and verse 25. For I am the Lord, Yahweh Shai, I will speak, and the words that I shall speak shall come to pass. It shall be no more prolonged. Yeah, the days are no longer being prolonged, man. The days of Babylon, the greater number. The days of the wicked, two thirds are numbered. Esau, Edom, these heathens. The days are numbered, man. Babylon, <laughs> this place is about to go up in smoke, man. This place is about to be burnt up. Okay? The Lord how about Shin Yao Shai is coming back with fire. Okay? It shall no it shall be no more prolonged 
for in your days, O rebellious house, will I say the word, and I will perform it. Said the Lord, how about she shall have power? So, in these days, man, we're in the latter days, man. Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of his dead father. Okay? Verse 26. Again, the word of the Lord, how about she shall have came unto me, saying, Son of man, behold, they are the house of Israel. The vision, it's not said, the vision that he seeth is for many days to come. And he prophesied of the times that are far off. They think this is going to happen 100 years from now, or 200 years. No, man, we got 20, 30 and all that. No. These things are happening now as we speak, man. As the men of the Lord speak, basically. Okay? Verse 28. Therefore, say unto them, saith the Lord, you have, it's not yet. Thus saith the Lord, you have about you shy power. There shall none of my words be prolonged anymore. But the word which I have spoken shall be done, saith the Lord, you have about you shy power, man. So, hey, the words of the Lord are coming to pass. Whether you believe in where you don't, it don't matter. Okay? It really don't. It do not matter. Okay? <clears throat> so hey, take heed to this word, man, while you still can. Did I read verse 26? I don't think I did. Alright. Let's read Ezekiel 3 and verse 26. Okay? Because this is about to come to pass. Let me read verse 25. Ezekiel 3 and verse 25. But thou, O son of man, behold, they shall put bands upon thee and shall bind thee with them. And thou shalt not go out among them. Verse 26. And I will make thy tongue to cleave to the roof of thy mouth. Alright? Try to uh, try to put your tongue at the top of your mouth and see can you talk. No. You can't. Okay? That's how the man of the Lord is going to be. Okay? That thou shalt be dumb. We're going to be dumb, man. We're going to be like, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> you gonna look for us and he hey you might run into us. You might run into one of the men, Lord. You're gonna be like, hey man, where you with that that brother out there that was prophesying, man, every weekend, bro, with that, that long garment on, man. You, you, you know what's going on. We're gonna look at you like I don't know what you talking about, man. <laughs> I don't know what you talking about. What you talking about, man? What you mean? <laughs> yeah. Y'all gonna be looking for the men of the Lord, man. You ain't gonna find them. And when you do, if you do run into one of us, we gonna look at you like, Psh, I don't know what you talking about, man. Well, what you talking about? Anyway, Ezekiel 3, verse 26. And I will make thy tongue to cleave to the roof of thy mouth, that thou shalt be dumb, and shall not be to them a reprover, for they are a rebellious house. Two thirds of our people are rebellious, man. Okay? Wicked and rebellion. They love it that way, okay? All right? So get this word while you can. Time is running out. Go to Amos 8 and 11. Amos chapter 8 and verse 11. Behold, the day is come, saith the Lord, and how about she out shy? That I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, and no thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord, and how about she out shy? The Lord is about to cut this word off, man. This water, this living water that we're preaching. The fountain is about to be dry. Okay? Verse 12. And they shall wander from sea to sea and from the north even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord. And how about you, shine shall not find it. You're going to see the man out here with the sign, man. With the camera. Doing a video pretty soon. You ain't gonna see us out here, man. Standing in the cold, standing in the heat. Alright, like that uh wicked ass Israelite by the name of what's his name? Will Mill, whatever the hell his name is. Y'all standing out there in the cold and then sweating and freezing, props on me, that nigga. <laughs> he might be one of them, he might be one that actually be looking for us. I'm telling you, hey, Lori, how about you? I'm trying to visit that way, man. All right.
He can fix it that way. You don't know. <laughs> All you Israelites that scoff at the man of the Lord, man, y'all might be the main ones. Y'all gonna be the main ones out there looking for us. Looking for answers. Then you're gonna be coming trying to look for answers. You ain't gonna find it. Mm -mm. You ain't gonna find us. <laughs> y'all gonna, gonna panic, man. When y'all don't see us out here no more. Okay? Y'all gonna panic. Y'all gonna be like, oh my god, hey, wait a minute, man. Wait a minute. Oh my goodness. Where are they? I can't find them. You gonna be driving around in your car. Hey, hey that, that, them guys you stand over there, man. Where they at? Where they at? Man, let's move to another location. Let me get another one. Amos 5 and verse 13. <laughs> Y'all gonna be driving around, sweating. <laughs> In tears, crying, Eve, especially, man, Eve, crying, her eyes out. Wait a minute, I need an answer. You ain't gonna find us. <laughs> we gonna be in a safe place, man. Let's read this, Amos 5 and 13. Therefore the prudent shall keep silent in that time, for it is an, for it is an evil time. You think we gonna be out here standing on the highways and byways preaching this gospel while all hell is breaking loose? When it's looting, rioting, cities burning and stuff like that. No, man. Mm -mm. No. No, we ain't gonna be out here. No. No, we're not. We ain't gonna be out here standing, man. Okay? So, hey. Take heed, man. Let's go to 2nd Ezra. Chapter 6 and verse 24. 2nd Ezra chapter 6 and verse 24. And at that time shall friends fight one against another like enemies. And the earth shall stand in fear with those things that dwell therein. The springs of the fountain shall stand still and in three hours they shall not run. Now this goes twofold, man, because there ain't going to be no running water, no electricity. But you can also apply this to this living waters, man. This word, this truth, okay? This truth, okay? The springs of the fountain is going to run dry. This living water is about to run dry, man. You ain't gonna be able to find this word pretty soon. Okay? Verse 25. Whosoever remaining from all these that I have told thee shall escape and see my salvation and the end of your world. Second there's a six and nine says the Esau Edom is the end of the world, and Jacob's the beginning of it that followed, man. Okay. So hey. This word while you can. Alright. Now let's change it up a little bit. Let's go to Isaiah. Chapter 13 and verse 9. Behold, the day of the morning, how about she all shall come in? Cruel, both with wrath and fierce anger, to lay the land desolate, and he shall destroy the sinners thereof out of it. Okay, the wicked is about to be destroyed. The wicked two-thirds. Okay. Like it says in Amos 9 and 8, the eyes of the morning, how about she on is upon the sinful kingdom. That goes twofold. Babylon, Great America, and the wicked two-third Israelites, man. Okay. Verse 10. For the stars of heaven and the constellation thereof shall not give her shall not, shall not give their light. The sun shall be darkened in his going forth. Going forth, and the moon shall not cause the light to shine. What's gonna blot out the sun and the moon, man? Nuclear smoke, man. All right, that nuclear, that mushroom cloud from these nuclear missiles, man, it's gonna blot out the sun and the moon. Okay. Verse eleven. Yeah, verse eleven. It's not. And I will punish the world for their evil and the wicked for their iniquity. And I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease and will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible. So great judgment is coming upon Babylon, the great America, man. Pay heed to this word, okay? Verse 12, and I will make a man more precious than fine gold, even a man than a golden wedge of Ophir. A man of the Lord is gonna be more precious in that day, man. That's why Isaiah 4 1 says that in that day, seven women shall take hold of one man, okay? All right? Verse 13, therefore will I shake the heavens and the earth shall move out of her place and 
in the wrath of the Lord Yahweh shall host in the day of his fierce anger. What's gonna cause the earth to reel to and fro like a drunken man? Okay, the eyes of the immovable misses, man. It's gonna cause this place to rock to and fro. Okay, Babylon ain't gonna be no more. Right? Babylon great ain't gonna be no more. Okay? Verse 14, and it shall be as a chaste root, and as a sheep that no man taketh up. Then shall every man turn to his own people and flee everyone into his own land. People are already leaving America, man. Okay? People are leaving America because they see this place is doomed. Okay? They see this place is on its way out. Alright? Verse 15, everyone that is found shall be thirst through. And everyone that is joined unto them shall fall by the sword. Okay? So, hey, if you join unto the devil, Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, he's gonna fall with him, man. Okay? Follow his wicked ways, his philosophy. Gonna die with him. Okay? Verse 16. Their children also shall be dashed to pieces before their eyes. Their houses shall be spoiled and their wives ravished, man. What do you think gonna be happening out here when all hell breaks loose, man? And that's why the elder apostle bar say you women gonna catch it the worst out here, man. Cause there's gonna be a lot of griefing going on out here, man. Men are gonna finally get some payback, man. Okay. Verse 17. Behold, I will stir up the knees against them. Will shall not regard silver and that for gold, they shall not delight in it. Okay, the keys of the knees is talking about Russia, man. Russia is being stirred up. Okay. Verse 18, their bows shall, sorry, their bows also shall dash the young men to pieces. That's the bows, man, the ICBM nuclear missile. Thermonuclear destruction, man, okay? Thermonuclear destruction is coming. Their bows also shall be, shall dash the young men to pieces, and they shall have no pity on the fruit of the womb. Their eyes shall not spare children. Verse 19, in Babylon, the glory of the kingdoms, the beauty of the child of his excellency, shall be as when Yahweh overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah, man. So Babylon and Great America are going to be thrown down like Sodom and Gomorrah, man. Burned with fire, man. Nothing is going to work here, okay? Ever again, alright? Verse 20, it shall never be inhabited, neither shall it be dwelt in from generation to generation. Neither shall the Arabians pinch tent there, neither shall the shepherds pinch their fold there. Alright? Nothing's gonna dwell here again, man. All of this place, this place gonna be burnt up, man. Okay? Alright? That fervative heat is gonna burn this place up, man. Okay? Nothing's gonna be staying here. Nothing. Okay? And Esau is not going to come back into power after a thousand years and rebuild America and all of these rebuild weapons and con try to come up against the man of the Lord. How in the world are the heathens and the Edomites going to come up against the man of the Lord? The man of the Lord is going to have powers. They're going to have bodies. He ain't going to be able to die. He's going to be like Superman. Come on, man. <laughs> What's Bishop Nate Daniel talking about, man? What are you talking about? <laughs> you don't even know what the hell you're talking about, man. Verse 21. But wild beasts of the desert shall lie there, and their houses shall be filled with doleful creatures, and owls shall dwell there, and satyrs shall dance there. Verse 22. The wild beasts of the land slide there again. Isaiah 13, verse 22. <clears throat> And the wild beasts of the island shall cry in their desolate houses, and the dragons in their pleasant houses. For her time is near to come, her days shall not be prolonged. The days of Babylon, the great America, are numbered. Okay? Let's shoot over to Isaiah 14. We're just rolling in the spirit, man. Isaiah 14, verse 1. For the Lord, how about she out shall will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land. And the strangers shall be joined with them and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob, man. Okay? So the Lord, how about she out shall is coming back to save the nation of Israel, man. Not everybody. Okay? As the Christian, Christian church tried to teach. The 
Glory, how about you? I'm trying to come back to say he ain't even who the world is linked and falsely called JC. Okay? He's only coming back for the Israelites, the elect of Israel to be exact. Okay? Verse 2. And the people shall take them and bring them to their place. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord, how about she on shot, for servants and handmaids, slaves. And they shall take them captives, whose captives they were. And they shall rule over their oppressors, man. So we're going to rule over those who oppressed us, man. Okay? Verse 3. And it shall come to pass in that day, the morning how about she on shot, shall give thee rest from thy sorrow. And from thy fear and from the hard bodies wherein thou was made to serve. Okay? So we don't know true rest in the kingdom of heaven, man. Okay? This ain't our rest. This ain't it. Alright? This ain't it. This ain't our rest. Like he tell you in Micah 2 and 10. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. Okay? So this is not our rest, man. We don't know true rest in the kingdom, man. We ready for that rest, man, because we are tired, all right? We worn out, man. Like it says in, uh, I think that's Daniel 7, somewhere around 25, I believe, okay? Where it says they should wear out the saints, and the saints are worn out, man. The men of the Lord are tired. We're tired of this wicked-ass place, man. We ready to go home, bro, okay? Verse 4, that thou shalt take up this proverb against the king of Babylon, and say, how have the oppressor ceased? The golden city ceased. All right? Who's the king of Babylon, man? Who rules in the daughter of Babylon? She saw him the so-called white man. <clears throat> Verse 5. The Lord how about she on shall have broken the staff of the wicked and the sector of the ruler. He who smote the people in wrath with a continual stroke, he that ruled the nations in anger is persecuted and none hindereth. Okay? Let's change it up. Damn cold, boy. I'm going to get ready to wrap this up, man. Stop. All right, my man. Anyway, 2 Peter 3 and verse 9. And I think I'm going to end it on this scripture. Okay? 2 Peter 3 and 9. The glory how about she all shy is not slack concerning his promise as some men count slackness. But it's long suffering to us were not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Okay? So hey, the Lord Yahweh is not slow, slack, slack concerning his promises, man. Like I said, though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come and will not tarry. Verse 10. But the day of the Lord Yahweh will come as a thief in the night, wherein the heavens shall pass away with a great noise and the elements shall melt with fervent heat the earth also the works that are the end shall be burnt up so this place is going to pass away with a great noise man okay all right all the elements are going to melt this whole place is going to melt with fervent heat though that nuclear glass man verse 11 seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved what manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness Okay, verse 12, looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of the morning, how about she on shine, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Verse 13, nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth, wherein dwelleth righteousness. That's what the elect is looking for, man, the kingdom of heaven. And we are ready for the kingdom of heaven, man. Okay, all right. Let's read uh, verse 14. Wherefore, beloved, as the elect, see that ye look for such things, be diligent, that ye may be found of him in peace, without spot and blameless. Okay? That's what we want to be found, man. All right? We don't want to be found blameless. Okay? We're going to keep continue to push until the Lord, how about she on shot says enough, man? That time is getting near, right? That time is getting close at hand, right? So we almost out of here, brothers and sisters, okay? We almost out of here. Continue to endure to the end, okay? So, hey, we almost out of here, all right? So with that, um, let me get one more. 
Let me close it out. Let's get one more. Get one of my favorites. One more. Romans 13, 11. And that knowing the time that now is high time to awake out of sleep, for now is our salvation nearer than when we believe, man. So our salvation is close at hand, brothers and sisters. We almost got it, please. Alright. Alright, so we almost out of here. So with that, I'm gonna close it out here, man. Go warm up. <laughs> Cold out here, man. Alright. So Lord when our praise next was edifying. We're gonna praise the evil. Give all praises and honor glory that's due to Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh Shine, by Hashem, Rakash Wadash. Double knowledge to the elders and the apostles of great millstone and well shall one to the hundred and forty-four thousand and one third remnant men, women, and children of the whole from the To the next time shall be long Sharala and Wild Ababa Ball. DTA Wild Ababa Ball. This place gotta go, man. Shout out to this place. Shalom.